So there's information and communication encoded in this color coding system mm -hmm. that tells us exactly what these stones are for. Pretty wild stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we'll also get into the context of today's conversation, how the pyramids were integrating natural resources that are found abundantly in Egypt for this chemical manufacturing process. So for example, we have sulfur, air, water, natural gas, right? Yeah. All of these are <clears throat> earth natural resources. And each one of the structures in Egypt was designed to harness these earth natural resources. So for example, the step pyramid was used to extract bedrock deposits of methane. The serapium used water and ultrasound to produce hydrogen and oxygen. The red pyramid was using hydrogen and nitrogen for the production of ammonia. The great pyramid, sulfur and air to produce sulfuric acid. And then you could take those two sulfuric acid and ammonia products and convert it into ammonium sulfate, which is another ammonium-based fertilizer compound. 